Good morning guys, I hope you're doing fantastic and amazing and I am Kahumbi Ndego, this is Kahumbi Vlogs, welcome to the channel and thanks so much for joining me. Right about now, I'm at a petrol station uh, near Kenyatta University. I'm headed for nominations, last week we got to go for nominations and we didn't vote because we were told if you never voted in the last general election in 2013 that you are not in the register. But right about now, we are going for the nominations for 2017 and I hope it will work out and it will be fair, just, credible and open. So I know, I know I've said I won't be talking about politics, but hey, this is human interest topics and go vote, practice your constitutional right towards democracy. So let's go and have fun in voting and getting the best uh, leader in our counties. So much about that, um, I might not vlog so much, but I will take a recording which you'll have the feel and taste of nominations in Kenya. So let's go. Kindly watch this vlog till to the end. Trust you meet this video. It is not sponsored or paid for. I was in the queue and I saw the senator to Moranga County arrive and I was like, why would I let this chance pass me just like that and I'll be wasting the moment. So I told the person who was in front of me at the queue to remember I am behind you when I come back. So immediately I went to record a senator to Moranga County. Fortunately enough, I was the only one recording at this very moment when Kembi Gitora, the senator to Moranga County, arrived and he made a joke to the voters in the queue residents of Moranga County, Kiharu Constituency Township Ward, that these people you see with these cameras only wait for only that one shot to see someone giving money to the voters in the queue and then it will be a controversy. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a humor and I found it so funny because I was the only one recording and all the energy was focused at me while he was still uh, addressing me and the people were still laughing. I found it I found it so funny. But later he clarified and said he doesn't dish out money just like that, which I found him to have that one quality of a great leader. Unfortunately, I did not see any other aspirant leaders who are vying for different various seats come to the polling station because I wish they came and I could have recorded them as well while they answered to the questions that were given to them so that we can have a balance of ideas and even what they have to say to the county of Muranga. Is who had commissioned those papers to go to that polling station. I understand that when they saw she was arrested, the ones who are also coming, I think in a pro box or something, then drove away. And, and they drove away. We don't know why they took these papers. So that is rigging. That is rigging. That is common sense. That is rigging. And my view is this this is my very honest and considered opinion that if ballot papers were, were, were found in possession of an agent, of a particular candidate, regardless of who that candidate is, and and uh, if indeed it's been taken to the police station and um, a matter has been recorded, for me that is sufficient reason to disqualify that candidate. That is sufficient reason because that young lady is just a victim. She's just being used. She's like those people who ferry drugs without knowing what they are doing, 
then they are arrested, and the people who are, who are their masters just disappear in thin air. I don't think it's fair because, because I, I, how is it that you can find marked ballot papers for an individual contestant, and yet it appears that that person is still in the race? It's, it's a serious issue, and I want to tell you this, that we, we, we are getting a lot of things uh, uh, coming, up, coming, coming out. I know, for instance, because I've been reading it yesterday and today, I hope that because they have now known that we know they will not do it, but there was a gang that was, that was prepared uh, to come donning my t-shirts, donning my t-shirts and then start causing havoc at about three or four in the polling stations for it to appear that like I was the person who was doing it. I couldn't do it. And for the sake of the record, I have not, I have not produced a t-shirt since the month of February. So there are no new t-shirts bearing my name at all. So if you see anybody donning my t-shirt and promoting that they are my, 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 my youth or whatever, and then you see them trying to disrupt an election, that again is one of the ways that some of my, my people contesting against me wanted to try to use to discredit me and to discredit me the election. County number 21, it is. But a disclaimer, I'm not quite sure. It is the land that is very much well known for hills, valleys, meanders. But tell me of another county that has got all those because I've not come across another one. Agriculture has been the topmost topic, which has had so much controversy, but not so much about that. Education, finance and other businesses have been doing quite well. We cannot live without speaking health that has been not yet there. And if it's not perfect, we shall say it's getting somewhere. Moranga County, it is. I was in Kiharu constituency, township ward, where I was casting my vote. And I have to tell you, as you have seen from the whole recording, I was not quite ready for that in my mindset when I was going for the voting, for the nominations. I was like, I will vlog when my camera is here. But it seemed and sounded so much weird because of the many people who, who are there and I was kind of a little bit shy to do it. But saying so much about that, um, this was my first hand uh, thing to do with a public seat or office of or job if you like uh, in any name to do such kind of a recording. I recorded Senator to Moranga County and I felt amazing because I have never done this kind of thing before as I have told you and it was amazing. You have seen the whole uh, thing when he was talking. I recorded it and I was literally shaking because I was like, am I the one who is doing this? I have never like seen myself doing such kind of a thing. But hey, it's nice to share with you guys something different and that's why I feel like my vlogs should be about everything and anything. I know I had said I want to be talking about politics but again I put a disclaimer of if something happens and it affects our life and our future then it's a human uh, interest story and we have to talk about it. So yeah I think now I should make a full vlog on what I should be talking and not talking about but this puts me in a place where I am like if my vlogs can be about going to new places, can be about clothes, then this means if I'm in a new place then something bad happens to someone, I cannot vlog. I mean, I have to vlog about everything that I will be sharing with you guys and we can have a conversation and an exchange of, you know, um, an exchange of interaction of opinions and ideas and solutions as well. So much about that, I voted and I nominated some of my uh, lead, um, lead, um, what word can I use, lead opted aspirants uh, who will be amazing. You had to put a mark on your hand after you were done with voting and casting your vote. So much about it, um, this 
uh, rangi or color cannot come out within one day I think so but so much about it this was my first time voting this was my first novi nomination uh, I have never voted ever before in my life and I found it kind of easy but it's hard when you queue and there is so much sun and the sun is overhead so it's so badly scorching on everybody uh, apart from the challenge of sun and queuing I found it amazing to exercise my constitutional right towards democracy so yeah and thanks so much for all the people who have voted in these nominations and I hope you guys you will get your leaders that you think will take you to a different ladder step and I hope the leaders that you still chose will be just and share um, you know government resources or county resources equally with no uh, you know biased intentions and I hope our country will go to a place which everybody will be saying we were not here and now we are here in a positive uh, situation. Today's nominations were better than last week's if you compare both of them because last week's nominations were so much of chaotic and unstrategized and it was kind of not planned but today's uh, nominations went well and I have to say it went with a flow which was amazing and people turned out in large numbers if not uh, at a high uh, level of numbers but so much to speak about that I wish each and every result that will come out from all the counties that they will be of fairness just credibility and openness and may you get the best candidate for your respective counties so yeah, thanks so much guys for watching this vlog and I hope you learned one thing or two and it's an appreciation for me and I thank you guys so much for that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I kindly request you to do that. It will help me so much and give a thumbs up for this video and don't forget to leave your comments, ideas, opinions, suggestions in the comment box section below which will also help me so much. Do take care of yourselves and I am looking very much forward to seeing you in future vlogs because you are amazing people and you are good people. I am Kahum Bindakwa. This is Kahum Vlogs. Do take care of yourselves. Ciao. Gracias.